Hi, my name is Nadia Nardif and I'm an IFT supported film producer. I've recently begun developing my first feature film, Catalina, but I'm not doing it alone. I've assembled a team of people to support the process. In this video, I'll discuss the different roles I needed to fill, how I went about choosing the right collaborators and how we're working together. In terms of what roles you need to fill to assemble a development team for your feature, it's really dependent on what your film is about. So I know loads and loads of films who have gone through development with a writer and a producer and that's it. So it's a team of two. Um, I think that's your absolute minimum. Um, for this film, for the development process, we have had a few different roles. Myself as the producer, my role is to make the money, to be able to make the film. It's also to kind of pull everybody together. It's to, to be in charge of the team and make sure the right team members are speaking to each other for different aspects of it. Thanks everybody for coming to the story meeting today. Making sure that we are developing the story creatively in the way that serves the film best and it's meeting lots of deadlines often. The writer's job in developing a feature is to write the synopsis and the treatment and the first draft of the feature. My journey with this started with, with Nadia approaching me about, about Catalina and telling me the story and kind of uh, pitching me the story and it was so exciting. I, I really, I, I got hooked on the idea of it. The director's job is to work with myself, the producer and the writer to just kind of back and forth about the story and about the direction that it is going in and also starting to think at really initial stages at how some things might be shot, what the tone of the film is going to be. I went to a panel on Arabic science fiction and uh, there was a gentleman who was speaking on the stage who uh, had very interesting things to say. And his name was Hassan Abdul Razak. He introduced me to Nadia. And yeah, that, that's my part in it. I come the last in the process. So. We're also working with two historians. Their job has been to research the world of the film and the historical setting. We're also working with a casting director. She's come up with some initial ideas for the lead roles. Our um, executive producer, Charlotte, she's come on board at quite an early stage, but that's been really key for us because she's just able to offer so much guidance in terms of how the film can be financed and looking at diversifying funding streams and also just looking at really practical aspects, um, things such as filming abroad and how that might work. Uh, and that kind of strategizing. So it's quite a big team. The reason we have that big team is partly because of the different activities that we need to do in order to get funding and to get traction behind the film. So for example, a funding application that we've just done, there was a whole section on casting. Um, so that's why we have a casting director for some initial ideas, because that's one of the things that was needed for that process. There are so many ways to meet collaborators. Either you've worked with them before on smaller projects, or you really like their work because you've seen it at a short film festival, or you've met them at a networking event. I think it's just, it's about just talking to people. And I think that's something that's nice to do generally, like have conversations with people, even if you've never met them before, because you never know where it could lead. Everybody um, who's on the team so far is either people that we've uh, that I've worked with or people that are recommended because somebody else on the team has worked with them. And I think it's an instinctual thing. You can tell in meetings with people, you can tell when you're starting to work together, even at this really early stage, if it's a good fit. We communicate by uh, having a WhatsApp group, emailing and we're on Zoom together a couple of times a week at the moment. Thanks everybody and yeah, thank you everyone for your work. I think the team accounts for each other's strengths and weaknesses really, really well. Everyone is very supportive and everyone is ready to go the extra mile if there's a gap in someone else's knowledge. I found that building a strong development team is crucial to making a good film. After all, a feature is a major collaborative project. I hope this video has given you a sense of how you might build your team once you start developing your own feature. If you're not sure if you're ready, 
Check out my video on moving from producing short films to producing features. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And please be sure to like, subscribe and share this video with your fellow filmmakers. Good luck in all your creative endeavours. See you next time.